fans and family. Bob's Farm Workshop. We're outside today because it's a little warmer and we have a little unexpected project. I noticed a few days ago that the uh, tailpipe is dangling on the old Astro. I crawled under there and looked and the pipe is rusted free from the muffler in a spot where actually you can see it where it can't really be welded back on. Let me tickle that again. It's just rotted off. And then I noticed there's a lot of holes in the muffler. Luckily, <coughs> this attaches. I'm gonna turn you sideways for a second. There you go. It attaches to the cat, catalytic converter with just the three bolt flange. The rest of it hangs on those rubber hooks. You know, with the hooks through the rubber grommets. So we're gonna get this jacked up and uh, we're gonna crawl under there and get that knocked off. And the new one's up on the porch. Hey, I did not get a new gasket with it. I'm hoping the gasket did come. If it didn't come, I'm gonna bolt it up anyway and uh, until I find a new one. All right, guys, I'll be back as soon as I get this jacked up. I'm going to get my yoga mat, and we'll be after it. All right, here's the situation. I've been under here a little bit already. And uh, there's the flange. I'm hoping you can see that. You can't see this. Yeah, okay. The issue is, how do I get my beast up in there. Well, I'm gonna try it with a universal, because the nuts uh, I don't know, I just don't know. I might have to just get a huge breaker bar on it. for leverage. There we go. Got our wish. Now it looks like my damn gear, my damn hook thing is breaking. My hanger. I gotta take this heat shield off this old muffler. Jumping jeepers. Out with the old. I think I'll just put a pipe strap or something around that. And the exhaust is just hanging in hooks too. The tail. I gotta put these straps back on it, I think. This is a heat shield. I guess I need hose clamps that big. The gasket is shot. The gasket came off, but look, good news is, is that the, uh, Cat looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get this guy out of here. Let me get you back in here. Yeah, I gotta get back up. 
Oops. Are you still running? Yep. I gotta get that tailpipe out of this hook. Thumb pushes. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing in the back. Get this pipe out. Okay, now I gotta try to get that rear, rear tail pipe out of there. Bingo. Well, that one's almost usable. But this guy is out of here. All right, it's out. Let's see what we got to do now. I'm just comparing sizes. This muffler is a lot bigger than this one. But uh, these pipes, luckily, are longer to make up for the difference in length. So I'm just temporarily fitting this stuff together a little bit here. Well, that one ain't gonna catch the noogies. Oh, I gotta pound it up on there. Let me see if the other one's bigger. Uh, maybe it is, I don't know. Don't look at the... It actually looks shorter. <coughs> I think I'll just need to beat this thing up on there. <coughs> this one. So. Give that some gentle persuasion here. Yeah, I think I need new hangers, otherwise the whole thing's going to drop out. Let me go see if they're available. Okay, so quick run to Napa. I got a new flange gasket. Uh, three muffler hangers. New flange bolts and nuts. And uh, hopefully, well, this will all fit together. Yeah, see how this was rusted out? It was ready to go, and this muffler's a lot smaller. There's not going to be a heat shield on it. Alrighty. Got to get those other hangers off now. Right. Yeah, you got to have your yoga mat. This thing has been a dream for working on the guitar, I'm telling you. So these should come right off. If you just work on it. <sighs> yeah, it's coming. <sighs> Good news is, they're nice and strong still. Oofta, oofta. Let's see. I got us. I want to try to see how how long this hanger has to be. The thing's out there doing a drum solo. Stop. I got three of these grommets. Two are that size and one's a little longer. But I think I want the short one. So. I should have oiled that. But she's going on. There we go. Just like that. Let's see how this hangs. Yeah, 
don't think I'd want it any shorter than that one. No. I don't mean. Gotta get a scraper and scrape off this flange. The gas. Oh no, what I'm doing is just scraping off the remains of this. Can only go up one way. That way. And rip a hole in this so we can get the gasket out. I got some 7 16 bolts. Top one in first so that it's easier to line up. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that ain't big enough. Shit. Why me? Why did I buy 7 16 bolts? Okay, I gotta go get a drill bit and bore this out. Yeah, so I've gone one size bigger. The 7 16 some kind of 64 here. That's plenty big. It's just, it was just corrosion in there. Ow! So, they will fit through now. Alright. Try this BS once again. Alright. Turn around here. I got myself passed backwards. Isn't this fun? Don't you just love working on rusty old cars? Oh, oh the, I didn't buy any washers. I said screw it. This ain't, I don't care. That is just about exactly the right height anyway. I think he's doing a drum solo again. Could have used inch and a half, so I wasn't sure if I. So I went with two inch bolts. But we don't care. I must have set my other ones down in the car somewhere. Gotta run and go get that. Yeah, yeah. Everything disappears as soon as you lay down. All right. All right. Well, we've got to start, don't we? I'm not going to tighten these up super tight. I'm just finger tightening them. All right. Now I got to get that hanger off. Get the crap in my face. Uh, uh. See, they're really crusty. Oh, she's coming. There you go. Mother is coming off from there. Right. Now, the muffler does not have 
any hooks of its own. It's just the pipes. And so I should be able to slip this guy on there as far as it can go, which it is right now. And now we're going to try to slip the back pipe up in there. Huh? Oh. I guess I'll do you from the back. I'm going to put you back here and hopefully you can catch what I'm doing. I got to get the pipe up and over the axle and I got to replace this hanger right here. So I gotta knock this crap in my face. Oh, she's coming right off. Good. Good girl. Ugh. Ugh. Nothing like crust and rust, huh? And this one's already been on once, so let's just go right on. I'm happy with this. Now, grab me pipe. Get the old muffler out of the way. Gets us a new pipe. Yank on whatever that is. Everything lines up pretty good. I gotta go back up in front, turn the muffler flat, tighten the flange, and we'll work our way back through tightening it up. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do, I guess, is just tighten these flange bolts up. And I need a 5 8 The rocket slants on these. I don't believe. Why do the crescent wrenches always over tighten when you have them on and uh, I want to know. And even if you don't put them that tight, I know they wedge in there, but. Things have to be like 100 foot pounds, I don't think so. We'll give it the old elbow torque test. There we go. All right, okay, tighten up. Tighten up. Now we're going to turn this flat like it should be. And I'd really like to get it raised up.
has that hook on the wrong side. Should that be over the other way? this out and make sure I got this right. That's the hook on that don't seem to line up at all. I guess it could. I don't want to put too much force on this thing though. I'm stuck with it. I gotta get that second one on up there. And when that one's on, then I can straighten everything out and tighten the clamps. And then we'll be done. My right arm for a lift. I gotta go twist that pipe so that I can twist this muffler more. It needs to be twisted. And I think the rear tail pipe is the problem. It needs to be up there like that. If I can get it straight. better half wiggle the tailpipe like go to back behind the tire you'll see the end of the pipe and all you gotta do is jockey it up and down just like you're jacking the car keep doing that okay hold it right there do it a little more okay hold still I'm gonna tighten some bolts right here that's all I needed you to do really but I want me get this one tight so it don't move Take off on me again. Good crimp on that clamp. The hangers are pretty good. I don't know how tight I need these, but probably that's tight enough. Okay, the pipe in the back is coming out perfectly. So, at the perfect angle. So I just need to tighten this clamp and we're done. These old fashioned mufflers with like U-bolts. They pinch the pipe pretty tight and crimp it. So it ain't gonna come out, that's for sure. It's just like a bead in it, you know? And I don't want it to slip. I hope it's all the way in. I never did mark it. 
I was going to mark how deep it should be, but I neglected to. I'm going to go back and wiggle the pipe, make sure it's good and tight. Oh yeah. She's in, baby. All right, wasn't that fun? Well, take you off the stand here now. Luckily, as I said, this system was pretty simple because everything from the flange here back had to be changed. And you saw when I tried to take these apart that I actually broke the bolts, which worked to my advantage to get it out. And uh, the new muffler is the generic brand, I forget what it's called, Wilson or Harrison or some common name like that. And you gotta clean up this mess. Uh, nothing's ever easy, but this was pretty easy. Shall we see how she sounds? That's, I'm not gonna show you putting it all down. We're not gonna go for a test drive. I'm just gonna show this, see how she sounds. Oh wow, she's very quiet. It used to rumble quite a bit inside here and now it doesn't. That's very pleasant. Oh yeah, my I haven't been showing this because it isn't really my project. I've been over for the last two weeks at my daughter's house. We totally gutted her main bathroom. It was just going to be a fix-up. It turned into a total gut down to the studs, even ripping up the subfloor, uh, underlayment, all the sheetrock off the walls. We did the plumbing to the shower valves, new shower and tub. Uh, new vanity, new mirror, new lights, new everything. So everything right down to the studs and back. But that sounds nice. And it'll keep all the exhaust gases out of my crew cab. All right. But this muffler is fixed. We're off to the junkyard. Um, my daughter has a tub she wants to get rid of that we tore out of her bathroom. So let's go... Uh, We'll do that. So God bless. Take care. We'll see you next time at Bob's Barn Workshop. And that will probably be some videos. You saw me strip the 302 block that's going to the machine shop end of this week. Um, I'm going to take some of these parts with me so he can examine them. So he can assess the uh, condition of the motor before I see what might have failed before and gave it the knock. But... Uh, He's going to make it a 347. It's so, okay, guys. A little more car work. We'll see you back here in Bob's Barn Workshop. God bless. Take care. We'll see you next time. <laughs>